Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to set up local SEO Google Business Profile heat maps with Local Falcon. Uh, what that is, so if you're trying to rank your business higher in local areas on Google and Google Maps, that'll look like these little heat maps where it shows you your positional ranking compared to your competition as to how you're dominating a local area. Um, so I'm going to show you how to set up an account and get started with that process. So. First thing you're wanna, you'll wanna do is go to localfalcon.com. You're gonna wanna set up an account there. And then once you create your account, you can connect Google profiles to that. So that's the first thing you're gonna wanna do. Um, let me move this down here. So once you're logged in, if you go to locations, uh, let's start with the dashboard. So uh, what you can do here is if you wanna run a scan, Ignore this pop-up. You can import a location from your connected Google account. So you want to log in. You can get all the locations. Let's go with, you know, Bell Roofing Company, or sorry. Let's go with all of our locations, and you can import these. So any location connected with your Google profile or your, your you know, Gmail or business email will import and then you can run a scan based on that location. Uh, so this is good for like local service businesses, uh, retail stores, uh, most local businesses who want to get more customers on Google and Google Maps uh, using your Google business profile. Now while we're in the account here, I'll show you what some of these scans look like. Uh, here's a client of ours. Uh, the keyword would be PS4 repair for this business, which is in Framingham, Massachusetts. If we look at their report here, and we use these for a lot of our clients. Uh, so this is a seven by seven grid with a two mile radius. So their average ranking is first, their average total ranking is first, and their share of local voice. It gives you the preview of what each of these kind of stand for. Share local voices, how much they're dominating compared to their competitors. So they're 100% number one position with all these keywords. Uh, you can look at these little tools up here, uh, view competitors reports, update your scan, repeat the scan with new keywords, run the scan again, you know, if you want to run it every day, every month, whatever. View the AI report. So this is new and cool. So AI gives you a little write up description of your analysis. And you can also get recommendations below. Uh, you know, increasing your service range in terms of geographic targeting. Um, it gives you what's completed in this analysis. It shows you your competitors rankings for the same keywords. Really amazing tool. I mean, this is one of the best visual tools. Uh, you can export this to Looker Studio, which is basically an analytics reporting dashboard. You can download this as a PDF. You can share it with a client. You can download a CSV. Uh, and you can also share it directly you can copy the URL, you can brand the URL, you can share it on email, you know, social media, et cetera. So great tool. Uh, if we go back and look at some other reports here, um, let's look at, what's this one? Virtual tour services in Philadelphia. So this is for one of our brands. Uh, same thing here. You can look at all these things, view scan report, shows you your average ranking. Pretty much first, uh, as we go north, we lose some positions there so we can find out to who. Share voice, 100%. Uh, 100%. AI analysis, we have a ton of great reviews, good rankings. So this is a nine by nine grid with a 25 mile radius. So this is pretty fantastic in terms of coverage for a 25 mile radius. Um, gives the overviews of vulnerable competitors, what's included, Matterport Real Estate Tours, that's actually our other brand, so that's funny. Um, so let me show you how to run a scan. So we're gonna do, a, let's go back to this dashboard here. So let's use um, this one. We're gonna add Rizal Limo Services and we're gonna choose that. So actually, let's see if I pull it in here. All right, so we're gonna do a keyword scan. Limo Services Philadelphia. And you can add multiple keywords to this search. So it'll create multiple scans for you. The more grid points you use, the more it's gonna cost. So that's how they charge you. you they give you credits. Each location dot here, uh, each pin is a credit. 
So the bigger your grid, the more credits you're going to use. So I like to go with a smaller grid, but a larger radius. So I like the 5 by 5 by 5. So 5 mile radius, 5.5 5 grid, imperial view, one keyword. So this will be a great kind of visual understanding for you. While that's running, I'm going to go back over to billing. So credits, subscriptions, different things here. There's the starter kit. Uh, I like to do it monthly in case we want to increase or decrease. $25, 7,500 credits. It's basically not much of a discount savings no matter how high you go, but you do get more based on your package. So Looker Studio integration for those marketers and agencies out there. Zapier automation integration. You know, each comes with its different levels. White label reports is if you're a really big agency, you might want to use that. But if you're just a casual business owner, multi-location business owner, marketer, or small agency, you know, one of these two would do just fine. We get 15,000 credits a month for $50 a month. So that's 15,000 location pins, dots, for the results. And you can purchase more as you go. Uh, there's also enterprise packages. I'm not getting any referral fee or commission for this, just kind of walking you through that. Uh, one thing I also like to share is you can set up a new campaign to send like a daily, weekly, monthly report for a client. So I'll show you that in a second. All right, for this limo service here, now that we did a five by five block, you know, they're dominating within their local area. But as you start expanding, a lot of competition comes about. So we can actually uh, go back here. We're going to do that same scan again but let's do a 15 by 15 grid with a five mile radius and see what that looks like. Sometimes more data points are better to give you a visual report for that client that makes them a little happier, you know? Um, all right, jumping back into this. So let's create a new campaign. We're gonna use that same example. So limo monthly heat map GBP scan. Start campaign. So we can do, let's do a 15 by 15 grid, five mile radius. Let's see what that looks like here. So that'll look pretty good. Actually 15 by 15, that might be a little bit much. We can pull this a little bit tighter and less of a grid because this is gonna use up a lot of credits and it'll show you how many credits you're gonna be using. So let's see here. All right, so let's do a nine by nine grid with a three mile radius. Save that, add location. Let's go limo. All right, you can choose multiple locations with the same thing. If you have multiple locations you wanna run for, if you're a client manager and you have 10 accounts, can add them all and have these manually send to you and you can forward them to the clients and so on and so forth. Um, you can get keyword suggestions too. Limo, service, Philadelphia. You can do multiple keywords, uh, not just one. Generate AI analysis, yes. Campaign will run every month. You can do weekly, daily, custom, etc. Send email, yes, we're gonna send an email. Sender name, Cooper Falcon, reply to your email, and that's um, localseo at gmail.com, email subject, the heat map weekly Google ranking scan. You can say whatever you want here, you can add multiple recipients, etc. Send email after each campaign run. Yes, yeah, send her name, local Falcon, reply to email. Great. Cool. Save that. It's going to be 106 credits for every scan. But if you look here, if I go five by five, let's do three by three, one mile radius, 34 credits. So it's really based on this kind of structure here. So let's go back. And 100 credits is a lot. I mean, That'll use it up quickly, but it's not too expensive. Um, and you can do multiple keywords. Uh, limo transportation near me. Oops, there we go. All 
right? So now it's going to double at 212 credits every month. All right, cool. Move myself again over here. We're going to start that campaign. So now uh, run scans immediately. Schedule scans. Yep. Cool. So now we started a monthly campaign. You can do that weekly, daily, everything like I said. Uh, you can go into your reports and see there's reports here. Competitor reports, you can see competitor reports based on your scans as well. Keyword reports, you can see your keyword search rankings for a lot of these uh, reports that you run. Uh, locations, this is where you can pull in different uh, profiles, different locations. Your account is basically your structured settings for your account. You can also go to connected accounts, edit profile, all that good stuff. Uh, support, they have decent support if you want to reach out. And you can always just do a quick scan if you're curious about your business, a competitor's business, so on and so forth. That's what I showed you in the beginning. And then just the dashboard overview shows you your trend reports, keyword reports, location reports, scan reports. Basically all the reports that you've created are going to be here. Uh, and you can search through that too. So hopefully this is helpful. I would suggest doing this to analyze a new potential client, uh, a new company you're working for, a uh, competitor. And then if you are working with someone on a ongoing marketing basis, you can schedule them for those scheduled detailed reports and pull in various keywords, various frames in geographic expansion. Uh, you can also do competitor analysis. So everything detailed in that report, like the AI analysis, the overviews, uh, and the statistics are all very helpful. But the visual part is the most appealing. Like if we go back over here, you know, we can see where we should really start improving um, our focus for maybe geotagging um, specific location pages on the website, um, getting reviews with certain keyword locations um, and things of that nature uh, to dominate more in these different areas. So thanks. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, comment below. Uh, local SEO specialist, big fan of Local Falcon. Uh, they're not paying me whatsoever. If they want to, great. Um, but I run a seven almost eight figure agency in philadelphia I used to work for google so if you do need help with anything marketing or seo related let me know feel free to google my name google the company name mac frederick momentum digital leave a comment below like share subscribe we'll see you next time